So here's how to create thumbnails with AI. And in this video, I'm gonna be using pixels. If you'd like to test them out for free, you can click the link down below in the description or pinned comment to do that, or simply just follow along. Let's begin. All right, so here we are on the inside of Pexels. I do have a bunch of credits here because I do have a paid plan, but there is something really cool about it that I enjoy, and it's gonna be the Personas feature. With this, if you click on it, you can actually create your own persona where you upload your images. It's gonna give you some tips here, and you do about, say, 10 to 20 pictures. So, so what this allows you to do specifically is that you can face swap, or anytime you use a prompt to create any type of thumbnail, you can just use your head or someone else's in it, which is fantastic. With that in mind, let's go to the recreate process. So with this, all we need to do is link to a video or simply upload an image, and then we can replace our face with it. So I'm going to open up YouTube in another tab. All right, so I searched for a random keyword, just laptop review, and I came to this one that I kind of like. I want to put my face in it to kind of change it around a little. So I'm just going to get the link for this video, and I'm going to go back to pixels. All right, now that we are here, I am going to paste that in. Also, don't need to have all the rest of this after it. And then for this specifically, since I do have a persona, I do want to use this right here. I'm going to go to personas and do marketing island. And for this, I just want to say, replace this person's face with mine. Keep everything else the same. And let's do generate. All right, and I just want to let you know, it's going to take about a minute or so. You don't have to sit through all of this, but it does take 10 credits to use. Nevertheless, when it is done, we will get back to it and we'll see the final product here, unless we want to make some changes, of course. All right, and so here is the final product. And overall, not too bad if you ask me. There's going to be a few things we can do here. So this is going to be for downloading it, of course. This is going to be a redo if you want to do it again. This is going to be editing it, and this is going to be compare. So let's click on compare. And this is what it looked like before, right? So before and after actually looks a little bit better. This isn't gonna be right here on the top. So it's flat, colors are kind of similar and then I'm just gonna be moved over a little bit more to the right. So overall looks pretty good. Let's go to close here. And if you're gonna notice here, if there's ever something you wanted to edit, you can do that. So let's click on edit right here. This is just gonna be an example. If you look really quickly, there's an earring there. I don't wear earrings. So let's just say I want to remove that. We can do remove earring from ear and all we have to do is highlight the specific spot that we want to edit give it some text there and click on generate so let's do that all right and this one shouldn't take as long given the fact that we're just kind of removing an earring as opposed to creating the entire thing but once we are done i will get back to you once again so as you can see, if you squint really hard, you're going to see there's a, there's no earring there. So that's a great way to make little edits and tweaks on it. So if you get a finished product you like, but you want to add a little bit more, remove a little bit more, maybe change this question mark around, you can certainly do that. Now, I do want to give you the disclaimer, despite the fact you can go in and pretty much put your head on a lot of the thumbnails, try not to copy it exactly. I am just showing you this because... I wanna give you an idea of what you can really do if you just like go in and change things around. Ideally, you do wanna change a little bit more around. For an example, if this one was gonna be different, you could use completely different colors in the background, maybe like red and white stripes. This could be flip-flopped over here where the computer is gonna be on the left, you have a question mark, you know, and make it somewhat different, like model it, use it for inspiration, and then change it around, okay? Because you don't wanna go like copying Mr. B's thumbnails perfectly by just putting your head in. It's gonna be no bueno. Speaking of that, I will give you an example of Mr. B's because he has some fantastic ones. And once again, I just wanna show you what it looks like with the face swap. Make sure if you're gonna be doing that, make some tweaks to it and change it around so you're not just blatantly copying, okay? So, and let's do recreate one more time. This is my favorite aspect of this. And let me go find a video. All right, and so I already looked. I like this one right here. I survived 100 hours in an ancient temple. Let's do copy link address. Reminds me of um, Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones. Okay, let's go back. And I'm gonna paste that link in. And once again, we're gonna do personas. That's gonna be me. And I'm gonna click on generate. All right, and once again, when this is done, I will get back to you and we will check out what we have for our thumbnail. All right, not bad at all. Like you can tell it's got a little bit of like a waxy look to it, but it is also like half real, half cartoonish. So I like the vibes of that. I also forgot to say like, you know, do a face swap and like not change anything else. So there are gonna be some changes to this and we can look at it with the compare. So if you go like this, like it doesn't have to match up perfectly, right? But if you look right there, the skulls are gonna be a little bit different, a little bit bigger, some more detail. The background has more tunnels there. This is more open and so on and so forth. But 
a pretty cool overview of what you can do when it comes to creating YouTube thumbnails using AI. Use responsibly, please. This is just an example of pretty much putting your face on someone else's work. So do change it around. I wouldn't use it just as this. I would use this to get ideas, model it around, you know, change maybe the ruins to a jungle in the back or more of a jungle, less ruiny. Maybe instead of a skull, you have something else floating there. Whatever it's going to be, this is how you can create thumbnails using AI and it's pretty darn good at it. If you would like to test out pixels, you can click the link down below any description or the pinned comment to try them for free. My name is James. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy pixels as well.